Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare R
particular guru, Sri Hari and Vaishnav, we have completed two days of uninterrupted Hari Katha and classes in spite of yesterday's disruption by the storm. And that is all we consider Srila Guru's mercy. We have Haribo! We have some announcements for all of you to take note of. One is related to this management of Durga Bari. We have a, a break in the steel gate that is the entrance of the premise. The gate is supposed to open inside, but somebody forced it to open outside. And one of the gates, the right hand side, that is broken now. So please consider this property as your own and try to maintain it when you are here. So we can have a very nice festival. Then we have one announcement that uh, Madhav Maharaj yesterday, Sunday there is a Diksha Havan. Whoever wants to take Harinam and Diksha, please contact Madhav Maharaj. We have a very packed program today. From 7 p.m. there is a drama by Badger School. And we want to request Srila Gurudev so to adjust his start so he can see and uh, see the view through the through the drama the, to encourage the kids with that i would like you all to listen to shila guru dev
ओम विष्णुपाद भक्ति पर ज्ञान के भक्ति पे दान स्वामी महाराज yesterday we told that how mother jasoda binded unlimited krishna and why two fingers were being laced After that, Mother Jasoda binded Krishna, and so many boys, Sidam, Subal, Badmangal, all were there. She told them to look after him, and she went to again churning of yogurt. But she was mind by the upset. Again and again, thinking of Krishna. So she was telling you, "Why I did so? Why I did so?" And Krishna, no. when mother left, then all his friends began to clap their hands and to laugh. Oh. Again, we will do like that, and Krishna was also now laughing, though black and black some tears. Well, there, there, the sample of that. But now it was dry, and Krishna was now. Playing with the boys. Oh, Silam told, "I will open the no. nut," and he tried, but he could not. Then Subal, Silam, Padmangal, and all tried. Oh, you should, you cannot do either. But any of them could not do. In the meantime, Baldev Prabhu with his mother came from. the house of upananda the eldest brother of nanda baba oh seeing this he became very angry who had taken oh my brother with angry but someone told in his ear mother joshota was at once is <laughs> and the go went on and he could not tell anything in the meantime krishna remembered something the cause of narad rishi uh, that he has given to the sons of maha valdi so much wealthy kubeer sons nal kubar and mandiri once narad was going to meet kubeer his friend kubeer is also a devotee of krishna so he was going but in the way he saw these two sons of kubeer nal kubar and mandiri they are taken madira wine and naked playing with the girls there they he has no shame at all so when nagri she reached there then the girls came out of the pond and they took their cross and did pranam to nal But these two persons, like them, they drink so much wine 
that they had become like trees, no sense. They began to call the girls, oh, come on, come on, why this person came here? He should go away from here. Then Narada told, Ki Sri Bhi Edman Madhapman Naivara Hatta Dhatum Vaitman Jan Maishwarkisu. Oh, I see those who have taken birth in rusticated family, those who are very wealthy, those very uh, learned and scholar, they think that, oh, in world, no money equal to me, and too much money, too much money, and well, we are too. So, four, very beautiful, very beautiful. Oh, ladies are male. They neglect all. So, these persons, like saying, his father is so wealthy, but he is devoted. I want to what to correct them because they are son of my friend and then he caught them. At once you should be free. Then they became to become tree at once. Then they quickly kept their heads on the feet of Narthisi. Prabhu. Now you have given me God. Please tell me how we will be liberated from that. Then now to law. Now you are okay. <laughs> Without punishment, these persons cannot be reformed. So in the end of Dwapar Yuga, Krishna himself will come to play sweet part times. And at that time, you will be tree, Arjun tree, on the door of Nanda Baba. And you will be Javad. Javad means tree, root is one, but like two. And then, anyhow, Krishna will come with mortar. Grinding water and he will touch and you will be liberated. And at that time you will have Krishna Bhagavad. So they have come to the door of Nanda Baba and they were standing. Krishna remembered that I must fulfill the desire of my bhaks. So Saktam Abhidhatum. Nija Bhakta Bhashitam. What he had, his devotees had told, I must fulfill. And then he told, Oh, we should go out of house and play there. Better it is, not here. And then Krishna began to pull eh, that giant water and all the sakha. Laughing and joking, they were pushing. When they reached to the door and were going, uh, crossing the door, a tree was there. So when Krishna went through them, then grand water was checked there. Then Krishna crossed that oh, and he pushed, pushed the pole. He did not touch the trees, only he was touching by rope of that grandal motor and grandal motor was touched by them and at once like cloud rolling both the trees, oh, this side and this side. Not like this, otherwise Krishna and his friends were smashed. <laughs> and 
then a very big sound was there. All the Prajbasi ran towards that sound. Nand Baba also was in Brahmanagar, she also ran away. Mother Jasuda and all his Sakhi. Nand Baba came and said, Oh, Krishna is there and trees are falling. And not like this, but that this. Anyhow, he escaped. And Krishna, after laughing and joking with his friends, now he saw his father and began to cry. <laughs> father, father, father. <laughs> Tears coming again. Nand Baba came and he took Krishna on his lap, grabbed some laddu, good and others, laddu. And oh, who has binded you? And in the meantime, Mother Jasoda, all Sakhi were there. Jasoda, far away, oh, he saw that Nand Baba had taken lap to Krishna. So, she was just standing there. And see, what I have done mistake? If Krishna had done, uh, gone, then what? And so, she became like a statue. A tree, no life. And Nand Baba now. Oh, who binded you? Huh? Then Krishna told, Mother, Mother. Oh, I will have to beat you. Oh, Krishna, what is that? And then he pacified any way. And then he took Krishna and Vandev on his soldiers and went to Brahmand Ghat. Mother Jasoda and all were there. Now they returned to their home. But no cooking, nothing. Jasoda hmm. Maa, she became like a statue, she can, could not weep in her. Hmm. What to do like this? In the meantime, Nanda Baba went to, again to Brahmandagar and they took bar him. And up till now, it was more than midday. It was about Sandhya eh, Kal. Sandhya eh, Kal. Evening. So he went to Goshala, where cows were. And he took milk from the cows' murder and gave it to the Baldev and Krishna mouth and they became full satisfied. Then again he took them and came to his palace and he was sitting on the palace where males are, males seat. In India there are two divisions of their house. One interior and one outside. Outside for males and for ladies inside. So Baba was sitting outside with Krishna and Balde. Then, now it was evening, no cooking, everything. Then, wife of Upananda and Rohi Maya, mother of Balde, and other old ladies. They came to Nanda Baba and sent Baldev to bring Krishna anyhow. So Baldev went to, to take Baldev, but Krishna, he gave him so <laughs> that, oh, he fell down. Oh, then Baldev was <laughs> very, very strong. In the meantime, <coughs> what? Ah, Rohini Maya told, Oh Krishna, Oh, you should go to your mother. Krishna, no. Oh, then to whom will you play? I will play with Daubhaya. Who will feed you? My father. 
Oh, if you like go, no. Then they told, and if your mother is gun, die, then they get three by ones. So louder, louder. Mother, mother, mother. And then he came to in the lap of Rohini Maya. Rohini Maya took him and he took them to into the house and gave him the lap of Mother Jesus. Now Mother Jesus began to weep so louder. Then Rohini Maya, Pananth, wife, and all began to. Krishna was also weeping. Nanda Baba saw. And he also began to be, all began to be. <laughs> so, these are pathetic sins of sweet past kinds. Why we need to remember that in future all will remember all these sweet past times and their anak will go and very soon prayer bhakti will come and they will be liberated and they will come to my. So, itidik swali labhi ananda kunde sagasama nivajantam akhya apadyanta. So, he was, Krishna was doing so many pastimes, oh, so many like this, so many like this. Shamrani will tell one story of halbi grannies, fruit seller. Very pathetic also that also. You can come this side. So knowing that I studied the story of Dana Kasura, Shula Gurudev has ordered me to speak about the story of the fruit vendor. <laughs> the fruit vendor, when Krishna was about two and a half, three years old, there was a fruit vendor living in Machira. And so many um, merchants and visitors would go back and forth between Mathura and Vrindavan. And in this way, the residents of Mathura would hear these beautiful sweet pastimes of Krishna as a baby. So the fruit vendor developed a very strong desire to see Krishna and with a very motherly feeling. So she went from Mathura to Vrindavan and desiring to see Krishna, she began selling her fruits in the neighborhood of Nanda Maharaj. She became so overwhelmed with thoughts and desires to have darshan of the Lord that in the midst of her calling out, if anybody wants some fruits, you can just take them from me. Take fruits, take fruits. But she was so absorbed in Krishna that she began chanting, Damodar, Madhava, O Govinda, take Damodar, take Madhava, take Govinda. She totally forgot where she was and who she was and what she was supposed to be doing. So she desired to see Krishna, but by the will of the Lord, he was creating anxiety, more and more anxiety, to make her desire stronger. So she didn't get the darshan. Then she sat down in the uh, courtyard of Nanda Baba, determined that I'm not going to go back to my home unless I get the darshan of Krishna. So Krishna, knowing her desire, since it was so strong, when it comes to the point that if I don't get Krishna's darshan, 
I can't live any longer. That is the point when Krishna reveals himself. Once we ask to the birthday, can can one become Krishna conscious in one birth? And Srila Gurudev said, definitely, if you're like Srila Raghunath Das Goswami and praying that if I don't get the darshan of Srimati Radhika, then in one second a blazing fire will devour me and I'll lose my life. So she had so much desire. So Krishna, wanting to please her, got some grains from Mother Yasoda to exchange from the f for the fruits. In those days, there was no money exchange, but it was a barter exchange. So Krishna got some grains from his mother, but his uh, fingers were so tiny that the grains were just slipping through. So by the time he reached the fruit vendor, he hardly had any fruits, just a hardly had any grains. Just a couple of little grain seeds were stuck to his fingers. So he approached the fruit vendor and begged for some exchange. The fruit vendor now felt that her life is successful, almost, that she got the darshan of Krishna. So when Krishna said, please give me some fruits, she said, okay, I'll give you some fruits, but only under one condition, or rather two conditions. That number one, you sit on my lap, just like you sit on the lap of your mother. And two, that you call me mother. So Krishna began thinking, she's a, I'm a, a prince, the son of the king and the queen, and she's a lower class fruit seller, so how can I sit on her lap? And how can I call her mother? So Krishna began looking in all directions to make sure Nobody was looking. And when he saw that the coast was clear, for one second he jumped on her lap, jumped up, called her mother, and very quickly jumped up and asked for the fruits. So she was so overwhelmed now and lost in ecstasy that she gave him so many fruits that he could barely carry them. So carrying these fruits, he had to hold his hands close to his chest so that all those fruits wouldn't fall. So Krishna brought the fruits back to his mother and she took those fruits and began to distribute them. But they never ended. Anything that is connected with Krishna becomes unlimited. There was once an incident of a student who was uh, supposed to have a festival with his uh, school. So the teacher said everybody has to go and get something from home and that you'll share with your fellow students. So there was one very poor student. He had nothing. So his mother said, go and ask your friend in the forest, Dina Bandhu. So he was calling with so much shraddha, Dina Bandhu, Dina Bandhu, where are you? So Krishna appeared and gave him just a little bit of yogurt. So when he came back to the teacher, the teacher said, is this all you brought for the big festival? And the teacher threw it on the floor. And even though all the yogurt fell all over everywhere, still that thing was filled with yogurt. Because anything connected with Krishna has no end. So the fruits were distributed and still there were more and more fruits. In the meantime, what happened to this fruit vendor? She was so lost, she forgot who am I, where am I. Completely she could only think of Krishna and nothing else. So the day was passing and she forgot to go home, back to Mathura. So then somebody approached her and said, you know, the time is passing, you should go home. So she picked up her basket and she felt that the basket was very heavy. So she looked at the basket and she saw that what was previously filled with fruits was now completely filled with diamonds and all kinds of valuable jewels, sapphires, worth unlimited money. But she was thinking, now that she was Krishna conscious, fully Krishna conscious, she thought, what am I going to do with this? And she took all that basket of jewels and threw it in the Jamuna. And Gurudev said, where she went, nobody knows. She never returned home. So Shiva Gurudev explained that Putana, as you heard earlier, Putana witch tried to kill Krishna. And even though she tried to kill him because she came as a mother, in the form of a mother, 
Krishna gave her the position of a nurse, not in Vrindavan, but in Golok. So Gurudev said, what to speak of this fruit seller? She came as a loving mother, and Krishna sat in her lap and called her mother, what kind of wonderful benediction she will have. So, uh, there's many, many teachings in all of Krishna's pastimes. So, uh, one teaching is that if we give Krishna what we have through the bona fide spiritual master, then we get unlimited times back. We can't really offer anything. Everything already belongs to the Lord. Everything already belongs to Guru. If I think, Gurudev said something very funny and very sad. If I think, oh, I've given Gurudev a chatter, and then I think, oh, that chatter was so good. So even though I gave it, I'm still attached to it, not thinking that this chatter is originally Krishna's, it belongs to my Guru who's Krishna's representative, and I was just getting it, but actually it belongs to my Guru. So if I give everything to Guru, Guru Shushu Shaya Bhakta, whatever we have in our possession, give that thing to Guru, because he's turning everything over to Krishna. And under his guidance, hear Harikata, speak about the glories of the Lord, engage in the service of the deities with great faith. And in that way, one gets Braj Prem, and we know what kind of Braj Prem Gurudev is offering us. Thank you. After this past time, Krishna was now about two and six months about. Upanand and all had a meeting. Now, so many problems coming here, so many dem demons coming here. Then, what to do? We should go to Brihadvan. There is Jamuna River nearby, plenty of grasses, trees, so many things that boys can play to go with all our cows. Then it was declared that tomorrow we will should go for Vrindavan. So all they took their cows, all family, Mother Jasoda and others were on bullock cars with Krishna and Mandel and all other old persons or ladies, they also on bullock car and all the Prajabasi, they went to Shachikara Gram. There was no village there, but they crossed the river Jamuna and they reached Bindavan. And in Bindavan, oh, Shachikar, they kept their bullock cars in a way, in a circle, half circle. And so it is Sakati Kara. Sakti means bullock car. A village like that. And Krishna, with Nanda Baba and all other Sukhupanand and all associates of and brother of Nanda Baba, they went there. And from there, now, Krishna became at the age of three, four. And then, on Gopashtami, Krishna was telling to his mother and father, oh, I must go to cowherd. Then Nand Baba, they could not check him. So, in a good day, Gopashtami, Krishna, with their cow, cow cubs, he went to graze cows. In the meantime, at that time, oh, Batsasu, a demon in the form of a cow calf, 
he came. When Krishna was going to grazing with Baldev Prabhu and all friends, then he became an inform of that, and he was in a way he was thinking that how, how should I kill Krishna? But the cops were smelling his bad smell, so they were running here and there. Then Krishna told to Baldev by his eyes, "Oh, she is. This is any demon." And then Baldev Prabhu, and then they decided something, and Krishna, he was there. Krishna took his hind legs and did so, and thus. And then Bakasur, and after that Aghasu. Krishna said. Agasu, oh, Agasu, I am sending to kill that boy, but none is coming to give me message that what we can. All are killed there, so go. And he was very mystic, jadugar, mystic power. He became like a very big. Ajigar, Python. Oh. He went, was in the ground, and other was in the sky. And he turned of very rabies like Kali Gila. <laughs> and he became very pee. So boys were coming and saw, what is this? This is a mountain. Like this is, must be a mountain, but like python. Oh, we should go and see. Oh, what is inside? So they entered inside with all cows. Krishna, oh, don't go, don't go. But if he is python, any demon, then no fear. Krishna will come and. So they entered. Krishna saw that I want them, but even they went. So he also went. When Krishna went, he closed his mouth. Then Krishna became a very round, hot, round of iron, iron ray, and thus he came here in the. So, and his pran by you was stopped, and it was burning so much. Then what to do? His life, his soul, all came from here end. He was moving in this coil, and then when Krishna saw all the boys, the all their Return. Mm. Huh? Huh? They became innocent, and he took all and came out of mouth. And the light, or who was who was moving, it entered in the lotus feet of Krishna. Brahma shine, see this. Oh, what? This is demon. He wanted to kill Krishna, but he has received sarupmukti. And then he thought that I should see another pastor. Now you. <laughs> One thing, a question has come. If Nalkubara and Manigriv has were liberated, then where the son of Kubera are not? No. They were liberated totally and went to Golok Vrindavan by the mercy of Krishna. Krishna benedicted them for this. And they became Snigdha Kantha and Madhukantha. Very sweet foils, hmm? like honey and like Madhukantha and 
snigdam. Fiery, snigdam. Sweet. And they now, in the council of Nanda Baba and council of gopis, they, they used to tell sweet pastimes of all these Krishna. As if the sweet pastimes has occurred two days, just now. So, they are liberated now, how they can be? Kubeya Putra? No. But, when they came, then what? Uh, they came all these pastimes that who becomes uh, Yamalarjun? Yes. Yes. Oh. There are so many souls like that. Krishna may make them like that. Or if he likes, oh, for very short time, oh, one moment of that Polo Vrindavan, and he, here it is thousand years. So for one moment they can come, no more. So this Leela, Brahmanda Leela, they will go away. Hare Krishna. First of all, I pay my humble obeisances and the lotus feet of my Paramahatma Guru Pahad Padma, Om Vishnu Pahad, Ashtodar Sukhasimad Bhukti Vedanta Shilabha Vandasami Maharaj and Om Vishnu Pahad, Parivajag Acharya Varja, Ashtodar Sukhasimad Bhukti Vedanta Shilabha Vandasami Maharaj. I pay my obeisances, the lotus feet of my spiritual grandsire, Nittalila Prashtang Vishnu Pahad Shilabha Bhukti Pradhan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, and Nikka Lila Prishnam Vishnupad, Sala Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Maharaj. I give my obeisance to all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis who assembled here, headed by Tidhani Sannasis. Sala Gurudev ordered me to discuss about Brahma Vimohan Lila. Brahma Vimohan means how Brahmaji, being our Adi Guru, bewildered completely by which pastime is called Brahma Vimohan Lila. When Brahmaji saw, oh, this demon, he got Sarupa Mukti, he did not do any, did any good job. How come Krishna gives his salvation? So he wants to see more pastimes, but he not pray to lotus feet of Krishna. Why it happened? He wants to use his own intelligence. Why it happened so? Being a Radhi Guru, how he can do some big mistakes? Not possible for him. There is some cause behind this. What is that? When Krishna after cow grazing, on the way 